What's up, guys? TD here, bringing you our duo guide to Ultrixion or Ultra Zion or whatever the heck this big angry Twilight Dragon's name is. This fight is kind of a pain. It has a lot of mechanics that you have to be mindful of, some one-shot mechanics and other damaging mechanics. When you start the fight, he's going to do quite a bit of melee damage, and he's going to constantly do these little lightning bolts that hit everybody for about 70,000 damage each time, which even at 90 is still a fair amount of damage, so you will need a good amount of self-healing. He does the Hour of Twilight, which is why you have that handy little button there. I forget what it's called. Um, but you hit your little extra button, and it'll phase you out of the Twilight Realm so that you don't get hit by the Hour of Twilight. Now, myself tanking it, it really doesn't hit that hard for a tank, and you have a buff that decreases the cooldown of your defensive cooldowns and increases their duration. So, I was using my anti-magic shell for most of them to reduce the damage I took from them. And... You know, doing that. The other thing that he does though is called Fading Light, and this is so important because it casts a debuff on you called Fading Light, and what it does is if you are in the Twilight Realm, when the debuff runs out, you are instantly killed. There is no way to get out of it. So you have to wait for it to get down to less than five seconds, hit your heroic will to phase and back out of the Twilight Realm into the normal realm to avoid getting insta killed by it. Now, other than that, I didn't use my heroic will. I stayed in the twilight zone. I soaked all the rest of the damage. And the damage gets pretty hard to contend with after a while. You're going to need to stay on top of your defensive cooldowns, your healing cooldowns, your death strikes, and all that. And above all, make sure you watch out for that fading light. Because if you don't happen to miss it just once, you're dead and it's over. So, that's pretty much the, the biggest stuff of the fight that you're going to need to worry about. Again, with the Hour of Twilight, pop your anti-magic shell or any damage reduction ability that you might have and just soak that. With anti-magic shell, it was only hitting for about 30-something thousand, which is pretty much nothing as a 90 tank. And I wear DPS gear, so if you actually have real tanking gear, it's definitely not going to be a problem for you to soak that up. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Or if you want to see anything specific that is not already on my channel, make sure you check out my Duo Guide playlist. There is a lot of stuff in there. We're getting through a lot of the Cataclysm level raids now. And, uh, oh yeah, Corvina apparently missed one of the fading lights here and got killed so that's one of the things like I said if you just happen to miss a fading light it's just bam instant death and then I had to finish Ultrixian by myself which even in DPS gear took me a while as blood especially since my item level is only about 517 because my death knight is not the main character I play but he's the best one I've found for this job but that's it guys he's dead <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.